It's a Tesla accessory extravaganza. It's Brian Preston, the money guy. So you're going to need an expert, a tour guide. I am an expert. What makes me an expert, Bo? Why am I an expert? I was the guy you knew in high school, had a thousand dollar car. A thousand dollar car builds lots of character, Bo. Uh huh. Yeah. Lots so of dates too. To right? make my thousand dollar car stand out, I had four thousand dollars worth of accessories on it. That's a failure. So, but I'm curious though, right? So we're talking about accessories for the Tesla Model Three. This car needs accessories. I mean, surely it comes with everything that you need, right? It's a Tesla. Go with me on this journey, Bo. Here's what happens. I signed up for this car March 31st, 2016. Okay. I got this car at the end of April 2018. So you had two years to it's ruminate Two years on it. to think, dream. But here's the other brilliance of Tesla. I'm going to say brilliance because if it wasn't, you're crying. <laughs> you order this car. That's right. You order it. It's not like you go down to the showroom and say, yep, that one right there, that doo-doo brown one, I want that one. No, you go pick out the color you want. I wanted red. I got a red car. So you go pick out the, the color. You picked out the rims because I only got the basic stuff in the beginning. Right. And then you got to wait a month. So that month, it's like the, the, the Tesla's getting bigger on your brain. So you start, you know, you find yourself going to the, the Tesla forums. Then you find yourself going to these accessory websites. Let's start with the exterior. This is pretty exciting. First thing, we've gotten a lot of comments from you guys. You're like, Brian, you look like you tinted the windows. Yep. That's exactly right. We're in Tennessee. It's a little warm. We gotta keep the heat down. So we put some X, I put X Spells ceramic nano window tint in here. And here's that sounds the thing. fancy. When I heard sir, I was sold, because that's an upgrade. When you can't see nano ceramic, ceramic nano. I was like, gotta have that. That was a $50 upgrade. It was a $300 tent job. Um, when I heard ceramic, I thought about the space shuttle entering the Earth's atmosphere. And because Elon also owns SpaceX, this thing very well may need to be able to enter Earth's atmosphere at some point. So the ceramic nanotechnology was perfect. So that's a $300 upgrade. I give that a thumbs up, Bo, because okay. I plan on all through these accessories. I'm gonna tell you whether I think they're good, they're bad, or they're meh. So, so the money got perspective, should you spend the money, should you not spend the yeah, money? Yeah, I think, that, I think that one is definitely worth it. 300 bucks. Okay. So that's the first one. 35% because guess what? In Tennessee, that's the most you can do. They, you know, they want to keep people safe. Okay. Let's talk about wraps. You hear a lot of people, you buy, you, you put a lot of money in this car and you're like, should I put a wrap on there? And by the way, this is a new phenomenon. I don't, you know, in the past you, you, you'd, you'd put, when I was, you know, younger, back when I was putting all that money, I had a bra. <laughs> it's not your mom's bra. It's your bra for your car is what we used to do to protect the front end. I kid you not, we used to, and then somehow we thought that looked good to put a black, you know, synthetic leather looking thing on the front to keep it from getting bugs, chips, and everything else. And, and the front end is very prominent in the Model 3 because this car has a hard time trying to figure out if it's a family sedan, a sports sedan, but the front end is very prominent. So what I did, once again, it's another product by Expel. I have the full hood wrapped in the, the, the paint protection film from Expel. So I got the full hood so you don't see any seam lines anywhere on there, and I didn't want that. But then I did a partial um, fender you can see you can see the line right there. It's it's barely noticeable, but I have a, all the the fenders, a partial fender, full bumper is covered, headlights are covered, and then here's the cool thing. We also did. I did the the mirrors are covered in the paint film protection, the wrap, and then I even got the door frames. So all of this are are areas that you're going to need protection and will provide a protection. Now, that all came from Expel. I also have from RPM Tesla, I, on the same vein, I had the same installer, so I don't know, because when you buy from RPM Tesla, unless you live where they are out in California, you, you have to install it yourself, and they give you all the tools for that, but I also put luggage protection area. You can see it right here. There's a little 3M film, little little pollen. <laughs> dust let me wipe that off so um yeah that's why you have a film so i'm not scratching don't worry i'm not scratching the car but you can see that but this is anybody who has a car that you're going to the airport pulling luggage out or just the day-to-day -day putting things in and out of your trunk you scratch up this area of your car 
pretty easily, it makes sense to have a little protection there. And so this is one of the things that's really interesting, Brian, because you and I were having a conversation, and look, I know that you're an accountant. You always have been. So when you drive, it's not like you're evil Knievel. You are a very uh, conservative driver on the road, but you can be the best driver in the world and driving down the interstate, and a rock can pop up and, and hit your car. And I said, Brian, you love this car so much, and it's so pretty. How do you come to grips with that? How are you okay with that daily risk every time you get in the driver's seat? Well, that's what I, I will tell you. Once you get to a nicer level of car, I think because this technology, I don't know how long it's been around, but wraps are actually realistically a good protection for your car now. And by the way, the driving like an accountant has changed with this car. This car turns you into a hard driving person. So just rebel. because of it, I am a rebel. I'm practically James Dean here. But it is one of those things where I liked about the, the paint film is that it's self-healing too. So if a rock hits it or something else, is all it has to be is the temperature needs to be above a certain level and then it self-heals when it gets in enough heat. Um, and it also, it helps because you're gonna see when you drive a Tesla Model 3, the front end of this car, because it does have a more sporty front end, is very prominent on it. So it's gonna get just beat up by rocks, bugs, and everything else. So I think you probably should put some type sure. of film. If this is a car you can plan on driving for five, six, eight years, why not try to keep it nice uh, and use that film? So if you ask me, is that upgrade worth it? I like it. I think it's a thumbs up. Um, so if you add it, if you're keeping track, I paid that same vendor for the window tint as well as for the wraps. It was right at um, thousand yeah, dollars. Right, three hundred plus seven hundred. It was thirteen. It was sixteen hundred dollars in total if you add all that up. That leads me to my next um, upgrade that I did on the exterior, and this one comes from EV Annex. And I got a lot of you guys sent me comments. You noticed it. The Model S and Model X all have chrome trim pieces on the back. When right. the Model 3 came out, it does not. So I had time to buy all these accessories right. and um, really get it working. And this is one of them. I spent $129 on this chrome piece. But here's the, the truth of the matter. It's not really chrome. It looks great. I, I love the way it looks. I'm even pleased with the way I installed it and it, it's worked out well. I don't feel like it's coming off. It doesn't feel cheap, but it is kind of, if Bose, you can feel it too. It's kind of a, a plastic piece. It's more plastic that looks chrome. You probably thought that was chrome. I did, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You thought it was did. chrome and then you feel it and you're like, wait, that's, how, how does that look chrome? But it's more of a plastic um, rubber type feel. <laughs> So if you're a Model 3 owner, that's that's normally not there. So if you are someone who wants your Model 3 to stand out on the road, that's a really easy. And what you the cost of that was? It's $129. But here's the thing: if you ask me, is it? I think it's. I think it is pretty. I think it, it, it visually adds to the car. But if you ask me, the quality, I think it's a $49 upgrade. Okay. So I, I think it's a little pre more premium. The value doesn't match. So I give that more of a meh on the value versus appearance. Now, if money's no object do it because i'm pretty pleased with the way it looks sure. but value wise i think they're, they're getting a little bit of a premium on on that windshield wind noise reduction kit this is one more that i kind of probably overthought because i had a month while i was waiting for the car it's a little um essentially you'll see it's a little rubber piece that sits right in this channel up here between the the roof um and and and, and, it, and it cuts down wind noise um, I put it in the night I picked up the car, so I have no idea if it actually lowered wind noise. There are YouTube videos where people did it with and without, and, and according to their research, it did work. Um, it might be working. I do want to give this, though. I got this from RPM Tesla, um, and it was $29 before the 20% the discount. Um, I've never had a problem with wind noise. You know, a lot of people on the, the Tesla forums have complained that they think there's additional wind noise in their Model 3s. I have not experienced that, so either Tesla improved it or it very well could be this $29 upgrade um, that I put on. So I, I would, I would, if I was, since I'm happy with the interior cabin while I'm on the interstate at good speeds, I would say I would buy this $29 upgrade again because I'm very happy with, with sounds. Another exterior upgrade I did, and I go blame this one on the one month waiting room. It's a little extra, but it's something, right? is I actually bought puddle lights for the Tesla Model 3. And you're sorry, probably you bought, looking. You bought what? Puddle lights. Um, uh, now, I'm, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna the, assume the, by the name that what now, a puddle now, light Here's the problem. And this is, I bought these from RPM Tesla. You're probably noticing 
you can't see them. It's because it's daylight. Now you're not supposed to be using exterior lights during daylight, so we're gonna give them that. But even in, we'll, we'll show you, I'll take some pictures at night so we can put the, overlay those in. Even when they're bright, they're still, it's just meh. It's just not good. I hold think, on, hold on. There's an aftermarket part that you bought that's gonna go under your door, that's gonna cast a light down for what purpose? Okay, Bo. Oh. Let, let me explain this. We'll, we'll have a remedial money guy. Okay. There are times when it's dark outside. You open the door and you wanna know what's in this area as you exit your car so you don't step into a puddle. Hence the name Puddle Lights. Manufacturers, I, I found out about this through Audi, because we have an Audi that um, when you open the door, it's got these prominent LED, the rings, the Audi rings, right. and it's a showstopper. I mean, people, when they see that on my wife's car, they're like, wow, that is so cool that your car, so I, that's the first time I had had experience with a Puddle Light, because it has the logo for Audi on it. So when I got the Tesla and I found out that it did indeed have Puddle Lights, but they were just normal LED lights that shine down, and I saw RPM Tesla had Puddle Lights that actually had the Tesla logo, I was like, why not? Because I think it was right around $40 before the 20% discount. The problem is the, the lights just are not quality enough to, to be prominent, to actually show. And, and I think they must recognize this too because I don't see it on their website anymore. So um, Puddle Lights, they get a thumbs down. And I see your hesitation. It's $39. Well, no, no, no. I get, like, when I think about um, all the shoes that you're going to save from those puddles, that you were stepping in prior to Puddle Light technology, I think it makes all the sense Remember, Bo, we're just trying to, there's going to be thousands of these. We want to make this car stand out from all of its siblings. Perfect. That, that's not my favorite upgrade. And then the last upgrade that, that I did on the exterior is probably the most important, so best for last, the Tesla wall charger. This mm. cost $500, buying it directly from Tesla, um, they, they, when I, all the only option they had when I bought mine was this silver option. Um, but now for the same price, you can get a black one. Let's move into the interior of the model three and talk about accessories that we put in here. The first one, this is the most important because think about floor mats. Mm -hmm. The floor mats that came with the Tesla model three are more of your in line of your 1990s carpet floor yep. mats before we had the rise of all weather floor mats from companies like WeatherTech, where it didn't matter if you got mud, spilled water, you know, a lot of additional yep. protection got added. Well, I've been frustrated because WeatherTech hasn't made uh, a floor mat, an all purpose, all weather, you know, type floor mat for these things available in the, the first six months I've owned it. Um, now that has since changed, I'm gonna go over that, but I bought the Max, Max Spider um, mats here, and you can see I'm gonna pull one out so we can get a closer view. Now realize I've been driving around town, putting my big old 12, size 12 shoes on them. But, but, but this is much cleaner than it would be because of those puddle lights that are keeping his feet dry. Can I'm you move past the I'm puddle just lights? I'm out there. So here's the thing. You notice that there's a carbon fiber, I'm in a shadow, so let's just, there's a carbon fiber type pattern on there, but it's completely all weather, waterproof. Um, I think it's, a, it's just a good looking, and here's what I like. You know how you have the, the dead pedal? here that's yeah. in the Tesla, yep. this gives full protection. Now, since I bought these, Tesla has partnered with WeatherTech and they've got their own all-weather version that they sell for $145 directly through the Tesla website. These cost $205 from a company called partcatalog.com. Okay. Um, if you go check that out, $205. The reviews that I've been reading, these do a better job of actually, because they create a, a better yeah, reservoir here if you actually spilled a, a, a pretty good chunk, whereas the, the, the WeatherTech Tesla ones don't. Plus, the, you'll notice on the Tesla ones, they don't provide full protection. They actually cut off right here, so you don't get that, that dead pedal um, protection that you have. And I like, because we all know the pivot point of your foot going between the accelerator and the brake, right. not that you use a lot of brake in this car, it's more of one, one pedal driving, but still it's nice to have that protection since it is an extra wear point. But these things go in, and, and here's the other cool feature about them. This is, a, and this is actually a patented feature. You can feel, feel the back of that bow. Oh wow, yeah. So, so that it, grips, it's like sticky, so yeah. it doesn't stick. I mean, it's just, it's kind of got a texture yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. 
Um, I, I, one negative that people keep complaining about is this logo. People don't like that logo. They say it's too prominent. Some people have taken um, their, their Sharpies and colored that in. Uh, yeah. It doesn't, uh, maybe I've gotten old and just don't care, yeah. but it doesn't bother me. But if you put it in, just put it in here. I mean, it fits like a glove. I mean, you can tell that thing was, and look in there. I mean, you can see it, it fully fits right in, gives you full, complete protection, even covers that dead pedal. And so you'd say um, from, a, from a call standpoint, this, this was absolutely worth it. You, you recommend all weather well, mats for sure, for because Look at the back seat, because here's, let me show you some other things about the back seat. And I'm gonna let my seat up so we get even a, a better, because I'm, I'm, I'm six, you know, six three to six four. Six three taller than you, taller than Bo. But you can see, what I like about the back seat, I'm gonna come around the other side so I can give you a full show, pull my Vanna white. What I like, now it's a little dirty because I've had people in here since I even cleaned it up. The Tesla all-weather one is stops about here, so it leaves this, all this is carpet underneath here. I like how in this version, it actually, there's this dead space right here it actually provides even additional protection right there. So if the kids spill milk, juice boxes, Cokes, you know, ices, anything that's just horrible that you're worried they're gonna spill, spill um, you got full complete protection right here. And it actually looks pretty good. And it's, it's, it's easy to clean out. So I like these things. Now the, the Tesla does, has come out since they've partnered, Tesla partnered directly with WeatherTech and they now make these all rubber, all weather mats for $145. The problem you'll see, they don't give full protection like these, these Max Spider um, mats do. And, 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 and I think that's more valuable. You just have to ask yourself, is it $50, 50 to $60 more valuable? Sure. Um, I, I, but for me, I give these a thumbs up. I think it's a good upgrade. I got it from parkcatalog.com. One of the things I want all of our viewers to know is that what's gonna make this video different from other videos on upgrades or features you can put on your Model 3 is that we took no, none of these products were free, none of these products were comped. We paid for everything that's in this car. And then the next one is one that is and probably- And we get no kickbacks if you buy exactly them. Exactly right. So there's no, there's no, nothing like that that is currently set up as we're doing these videos. So this is one of my favorite interior features because I think it's almost, it's, it, what it is is a group of engineers have essentially perfected something that Tesla probably just overlooked and should have done for us Tesla owners naturally. And that's right here. Tesla gave us this great location to store your smartphones. But the problem is, you know, and, and what Tesla did when you buy a, a Model 3 from the factory, they have these where you have to do a traditional plug in through a lightning cable at the bottom here. Right. And, and, and I'll be honest, it's not functional because that lightning cable is, you can have it hanging out, but it just, it was a pain to use. What you end up doing is what I have done is you end up having using the, 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 the power that's in the glove box, and then I have just a typical lightning that's plugged into that, that adapter. And that just doesn't look um, very tech not as clean. Yeah. What I like once you get to newer phones, Jetta wireless pads let you turn these into charge stations. And this is actually my second charge station I bought. I, I originally bought one from RPM Tesla. And, and look, RPM Tesla, when I returned it, I bought a charge um, base from them. I sent it back and I said, look, I just, I didn't love it because what, what theirs was set up was they had the charge puck and then they just had this, this, this cover that went over it, but it just didn't look like an all-in-one type solution. And when I returned it, they were very nice and took it back, but they said, and they said, yeah, we're already designing our second generation. So they might even have that fixed, but Jetta, these Jetta wireless pads, $99, you buy directly from them. They, they have it all built in as one piece. I mean, this whole thing lifts out as a one piece. It's got a nice little divider. It's got these channels to keep it. And you can see where the charge pucks are based upon where the lightning bolts are. And watch how easy this is. I mean, as soon as I um, put, my, put my phone on there, you see now it says 100% charged. I mean, it's, it comes right to life and charges. And then, you know, we have both of them plugged in. Bose comes to life. And it's so easy to connect these things. I mean, I'm going to pull it up. Don't pay attention to my my, my, my homeless care package that, that I give out. But oh. it's um, you can see there's two USB part, ports right here. You plug right in. And if you still want to have an ability, because we all know with um, the software nine that just came out, there's a dash cam 
that um, you can now enable on your feature. I actually went on Amazon and just bought a quick little four or five dollar splitter so I could still keep my, my charge pad working and then split it to where I, I had a data port as well as a charge port so I could plug my little thumb drive in so we could also enable the the, the, the dash cam, but this this charge base is spectacular. I've been very, very happy. This thing is $99. You're going to order it directly from them. Um, it's a group of engineers, so I like this product. I give it a thumbs up. Um, there's also, this is, okay, this is where you can tell I was bored. I'm almost embarrassed to go over these, these last three interior upgrades. But you weren't embarrassed about the puddle lights. No, because okay. people uh, people are going to think that that's not crazy. Okay. I mean, they, I'm, I'm disappointed they're not as good as they should be, but these I'm kind of disappointed in, but I want to be full transparent with all my viewers. Fair enough. Um, the first one, a change holder. Now, this is a mess. I've got to move some of my stuff out. I don't know if you can see it. I have a Tesla change purse. Well, uh, I know. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead and make fun. I bought this from... from um, RPM Tesla for $14.99 before the 20% no, discount. When you say change, you mean like quarters no, and dimes quarters. See, and I, nickels. I got some quarters in there. And it, it's doing such a good job that I have some quarters and nickels how often sitting you, next to the change purse. That is a fail. I need how to, these often need do to you be use in change? There. Is that for when you stop at the payphone? Is that what's going on no, here? No, some, some states have tolls. When was the last time you drove through a toll road? Florida. Florida still has tolls. So... That, 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 that's a little bit of an extra. Here's another one. I'm going to go ahead and confess to you. I bought this one. Well, let me go ahead and show you. Move my Chick-fil-A napkins out. This is not standard. This little tray, this little stopper here in the, the glove box. What, what does it do? Th this keeps like, look, 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 watch it again. Watch it. Oh, that stuff, that stuff almost came out. Did you see it? You mean to tell that me. That almost came out. Watch it again. I mean, we can do this. Watch it. Oh, that almost came out. In your world, you had the problem that needed solving of opening your glove box and stuff falling out of it? That came from EV Annex 1995. I think I'd do it again. I think that is purpose. Think about if that was open and I hit the accelerator and we hit that just, you know, heart and uh, you know a thunderous bolt of acceleration everything out of there would be on the ground if why i didn't have that back why is stuff. your glove box open in a high speed chase no you never know you might need it so that's that and then here's the last one it's not branded but i bought this also from <laughs> ev annex sunglass holder you know because the teslas didn't come with a sunglass holder so that's all right because you can go to ev annex and for 14.95 you can get this it's got this black um, carbon fiber type design built into it. I don't know why this is sold as a Model 3 accessory, but it, it, it works no. and I actually use it. So were they sold out of the uh, CD sleeve that goes in your <laughs> visor where you put your compact discs? Now look, I don't use CDs anymore, but I definitely use sunglasses. So $14.95, I mean, truthfully, I give this, a, a, it's practical, but maybe I paid a premium. I mean, you probably buy that same thing for, you know, four ninety nine, nine ninety nine on Amazon. But it looks good. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. So I don't, I don't think I got ripped off. But it's a, it's probably from a value standpoint, it's more of a meh. So it's kind of a in between. But those are my, you know, interior upgrades. As you can see, I, I thought about this a lot. I know a lot of you guys out there in the the Tesla family. You've also you know, you're in the waiting room, you're waiting to get your Tesla. These are the type of things you want to know. What's giving you value? What's going to get, make your car stand out? And what's going to protect your investment? I mean, I could have gone even tackier than I did. This car still looks pretty much stock, but it, it's enough to where it stands out. Enough to where you guys have written us, who've watched other Tesla shows, and said, hey, where did you get that chrome strip? Hey, what's the tint? Hey, what else? You know, so I do think that there are people just like me that you're going to try to figure out how can I add a little bit more usability or even make my car stand out a little bit more than everybody else. Sure. That's all we're trying to do. So go look at these things. If you like our content, this is the Money Guy Show. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Brian Preston. You know, but we're fee-only advisors. This is not our normal content. But if they want to reach out to us and, and, and know how to even reach out and know more about our personal finance, what can they do? Yeah, step one, go ahead and subscribe down below so that way you get updated every time we upload a new video. Then go check out our website, moneyguy.com. You can look at all of our past content, all of our archives, sign up for our email list. 
Uh, and we're going to help teach you how to go beyond common sense with all of your finances, even when it comes to accessorizing your automobile. And not get ripped off. <laughs>